Hello. Oh. Oh, you have to bear with me. I um I think I've just broken my toe. <laughs> Which is kind of amusing because um I already had three and that have healed up somewhat over Christmas and um Ew Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I have to laugh because it's just so friggin' stupid. I keep breaking toes. It's just mental. <sighs> so I need, I don't know, calcium or something. Or steel cap boots, possibly. I do have Doc Martens. Possibly I should just walk around the house in those. Alright, I'm going to make lemon and lavender. We've done it before. I don't know if... I think I did a video. I'm pretty sure I did a video. But I just want to use these colours. So... I'm making lemon and lavender. So I'm going to. Oh, I don't remember if this colour played up or not. So I'm just going to mix these up in oil first because um, then I won't have to do as much mixing. And um, what I thought I might do, it's because I do drop swirls and stuff all the time. I thought if I fill these up and then pour in the mould, we'll see what happens. So yeah, so oh, I'll limp over to the fridge and get some oil. <laughs> Shoot me now. <laughs> Seriously, all I can do is laugh because it's like all day today, all I wanted to do was make soap, right? And it's just like... My friend Paul came up from, well, he didn't come up from Blue Mountains, he was only down at Coffs Harbour, so that was all right, but I'd forgotten he was coming today, so. <laughs> so I had visited with him, and then Dad had to go to the doctors, and we were at the doctors forever, and then I had to go do things, get coals and whatnot. It's like, finally get home to soap, and made some soap, and then <laughs> another friend come round, and. It's like it's now 10 o'clock and all I've done is made two bloody soaps. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted the soap and now I've broken a toe. So it's like, oh, yeah, whatever. Oh, geez, it's hurting too. Holy cow. The little ones always do, but <laughs> it just goes to show how many times I've broken my toe, doesn't it? When I say, oh, yeah, the little ones always do. Oh no, I think I just have really weak toes because I break them kind of, not all the time, but fairly often. I don't know, I don't, there's not a year goes by I don't have at least one broken toe, but to have four in a month is pretty bad, I think. Oh. Oh. You did, did you notice that? I um got the sunflower oil out of the um, fridge I've been keeping it in the fridge because it's sunflower oil has got a reasonably short shelf life so if you keep it in the fridge it doesn't last longer but it lasts better if that makes any sense all right so here is the experimental lye that we were talking about before it's got tussa silk in it rather than bamboo silk and it certainly looks like it's not um, all fluffy and lumpy so it definitely was the bamboo silk that was was doing the bad fluffy lumpy thing so that's good and unless you've watched one of my other videos you won't know what the hell I'm talking about <laughs> I'm in too much pain to explain <laughs> That's all my oils, goat's milk. I'm. I'll put a little bit of kaolin clay in this one because it doesn't matter if it goes a little bit darker anyway. I'll just do. I'm just going to do just one in this. I mean, there's no set rule for how much to put in. There. <laughs> does change the colour. 
it gives it a more grayish instead of just goat milk white so you, that will affect your final colors so you should keep that in mind if you're going to use clay especially clays that are colored because kaolin clay as much as they say that it's a white clay it's really not that bright so i tell you what guys <laughs> i'm in so much pain <laughs> it's just dreadful <laughs> oh shoot me now oh please just shoot me now it's actually really good that I can't see any little fibers like it's not fully dissolved but because you can see the color of it it's pretty good hey um, oh I haven't measured that I haven't measured that yeah there's definitely more than 30 mil in there what I might do um, You know what I'm going to do, just to give myself a little bit of extra time, what I'll do is I'll just mix this up without the fragrance in it, and then I'll put it in those and we'll mix it up, mix up the mica, and then add the fragrance in those, so that'll give me a little bit more working time. <laughs> because it's not like an intricate pattern or anything but if you can get yourself a little bit of more liquid time then why not hey? evenly because <laughs> that's going to happen I swear if you've never had a broken bone don't ever wonder what it feels like because you don't want to know it's really really unpleasant because I used to always think how can broken bones hurt because they're bones bones don't have any feelings but it's not actually the bone that causes the pain. What causes the pain is everything that's attached to the bone. <laughs> that's what friggin' well hurts. Oh, yeah, that's definitely broken. So I'll tell Dad tomorrow and he goes, he'll go, are you sure it's broken? Are you sure you just didn't stub it? I'm like, yeah, I know the difference between a broken toe and a stubbed toe. Thank you very much. There is a bloody great big difference. Holy cow, that pain would be the difference. Look at that, setting up already. Holy shit, I haven't put any fragrance and I haven't even measured it. Alright, um, all right, I'm going to mix that in by hand then. So where do I put that? Where do I put the spoon? Oh, in there. Alright, so, oh, let's just make a mess. Let's just make a mess. Why not? Sure, that's what benches are for. And I'll spoon mix the fragrance in. Holy crap, that's hot. Yeah, that's right. That oil. <laughs> the oils were. <laughs> Not exactly the nicest purple I've ever made, hey? That's bloody awful. <sighs> Me and purple and pale blue. We're not friends, not friends at all. Take that. <laughs> yep, that'll morph back really nicely, I reckon. All right, <laughs> at the length of the thing now. Okie dokie. Oh. It's really hard to concentrate when you're in this much friggin' pain. Okay, so you come over here. Ouch. Could you just... Thank you. So, I'm going to put 15 each. Because I would have put 30 in altogether. 15. Oh. 
so much pain. <laughs> That's all you're gonna hear. You see how much friggin' pain I'm in. For the whole video. Alright. Oh well, it was reasonably close. They're 22 grams off one another, so that's pretty close for a guesstimate, I reckon. Come on, a little bit more. That'll do ya. Soaps everywhere. Soaps everywhere. This is a, it'll be interesting to see what this actually does. That's for sure. If I when I pour it in, like I was planning on doing. <laughs> well, that just sounds bloody awesome, doesn't it? Alrighty, so let's go. Yeah, we'll get some ploppies happening. Oh, it's just gonna just go like that. That's gonna be like the most boring soap ever. So, ah, oh, that's why you wear gloves. Oh, oh. Stingy stingies. Yeah. Temporarily forgot to paint in my toe. <laughs> it's so funny. It's just like, oh my god. Alright. So thick. Come out. This is what soaping at its comedy best looks like. This is really cool, actually. Whew, my poor foot. got more purple than yellow oh but don't they look nice I love purple and yellow together this is like my least chattiest video ever or what what do you reckon so that's what it takes to shut me up pain <laughs> you wouldn't shut me up hit me oh, except I'd probably enjoy it so much pain so much pain all right uh, before i fiddle with that what i'm gonna do oh, this is just everywhere isn't it oh. what i was hoping to do i don't know if i can because it's so thick as so i was gonna try and do this I don't know. I'll do it and I'll bang it down and see what it looks like. Because it's when you do a half-half one like that, this is one like the most perfect. So you can drag it. I don't know. Does it look that bad? Looks alright, eh? Should look alright once it's set. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to make that second soap. I'm going to sit down and have a little cry, actually. <laughs> the sad part is I don't think I'm joking. I think a cry is in order. Oh. Bloody box of wax. Yeah, those things do not move when they're full because they're like 22 kilos. So when you're kicking that with your little toe, the little toe's what's moving, not the box. 
And the funny thing is, there's not a full one either. I've got four full ones sitting at the front door. Poor delivery guy today. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so sorry. He goes, yeah, that's all right. He said, but that's not it. He's come back with another two boxes full of glassware. I was like, oh, my God. So good, but it's like Christmas today. Like bloody Christmas. So good. Did just, oh, far out. That's not the word I want to use because it's not helping. <laughs> you all know the word I want to use. It's the only word that helps when you're in pain. It's fandangle. <laughs> uh, delirious much? Possibly. There's always a possibility of delirium. I have been working a lot. And haven't got quite enough rest yet. Obviously because I've just walked into something. But seriously, I'm going to have to start doing like Japanese, Korean thing and start wearing friggin' house slippers or something because this is getting out of hand. I mean, who has four broken toes in one go? Me. The others had started to heal up quite nicely because I did, I did all of those before Christmas. But yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Now I have a good excuse not to go walking in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god seriously so you guys are all going to start unsubscribing because you're just going to realise just how totally stupid I am because I mean who continues to soak when they break their toe I've got to be really 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 screwed up in the head to be standing here in pain making soap it's for you guys, because I love you. I'm so full of it, aren't I? I was making soap because I want to make soap. Because I love the soap. Alright, that's it. I don't know why I'm still talking and not turning this off. So I can go sit my fat ass down and get off my toe. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. I think that looks really nice. Well, if it wasn't so thick, it would have been good. But I did tell you it was lemon lavender, didn't I? No, I probably didn't. That's from Aussie Candle Supplies. It's the only lavender... I think I said this last time. It's the only lavender I've ever smelt that I actually like. And I've can, it's all I can smell now. And I still like it. Because it's more... It's more of a citrus lavender than like a lavender citrus. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you get a little note of the lav. But there's just so much more citrus. And that's... How I like lavender, so if you can't smell it. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you for the cutting. Bye. Hey, guys. Wanted to show you this. Um, doesn't matter how long you've been soaping for, shit still happens. See the crack? It obviously overheated as it was saponifying, and it had a bit of a crack. But I don't care. But um, yeah, just thought I'd show you that, so you would know that. You know, you can be soaping for any length of time and stuff will happen. It's just the way it is. All right. Well, this looks a bit promising, doesn't it? Ooh. Interesting. All right. It's smelly. It's lemon lavender, so, you know, it's strong. It's all I can smell in the whole house. Is it's just a freaking lemon lavender everywhere. But um, at least it's not just lavender. <laughs> I would just not be happy. And this is, out of the three that I made, this is the last one I made yesterday, and it's the hardest. So, there you go. But I made them all exactly the same. It was only the FOs that were different. Alrighty. Well, that's a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> it's definitely not what I was trying to achieve. It looks like someone's just scribbled pen. Like a big, thick texter. But, um... Yeah, because it got so thick, and I had a broken toe, so I was not in the mood to fart ass around. Um, yeah, yeah, my toe is just 
I was going to soap today and I'm having a hard time standing here so I kind of like this because it's just it's very it looks like someone's tried to do checkers but in a kind of just a scribbly way like with like I said with a big thick texture so I kind of like it so but I definitely want to try that again with a with a thinner um thinner traced soap to see what kind of swirls you get as opposed to just doing drop swirls in the pot swirls all the time because it seems to be all I ever do alrighty last little bit and then I'm gonna go sit down and probably not get back up again today which sucks because I had plans for another four soaps today actually five soaps but that's not gonna happen there you go. All right. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.